Mindy from The Weekend Gardener. Today what I would like to show you is how to plant green onions in a pretty unique container. You may have never even thought about using a wicker basket, a bushel basket like this, as a container. But they're wonderful and um, decorative. They can be as decorative as you would like. And this is a really easy, simple technique to do if you're a landless gardener or you're an urban gardener and you just don't want to uh, garden in the ground. So as you can see, it's just an, a typical wicker basket that's been painted. It, yours doesn't have to be painted. It was just some that I found actually. And to keep the soil in, I've lined it with landscape cloth. Now, some people utilizing this technique will use plastic, you know, like garbage bag plastic. And I would really not encourage you to do that. More studies have been finding that plants grown in plastic or uh, containers lined in plastic, what's happening is the plastic is heating up and the plastic is deteriorating in doing so chemicals are going into the soil and if you're growing edibles in that soil the plants themselves are taking up that chemical and people are eating it. So just a cautionary tale, if you want to line your bushel basket in plastic, by all means go for it. Uh, but again I'm just providing education on that aspect. So if you're using the plastic though, make sure that you poke holes in it and make sure that you put drainage material just like you would be if you were planting in a container. Uh, if you're going to put this on your covered porch, you're going to have more control over what mother nature drops from the sky, in other words rain. So your plants drowning may not be that big of an issue, but I'm going to put mine uh, out in the open and so I'm not going to have that control so I want to make sure that it's the water can drain out the excess water can drain out but I don't want the soil to drain out so that's why I've chosen to use landscape cloths so this is what I've done um, so here's a container now I've put about two to three inches in the bottom of this and the thing about green onions is well, some of mine have sprouted because I haven't got them in the garden. This is what they look like. These are uh, onion sets. And a lot of people like to grow these as green onions. And the delicate part, the part that people really like to eat, is white. And to encourage the plant to produce a white stem, you need to block out the sunlight. And the way you do that is you plant green onions deep. And when I say deep, I'm talking deep. If you want a lot of white on your green onion, if that's what you really like, you want to make sure that you plant them deep. But having said that, since you're planting in a container, you want a good layer of soil in the bottom so that the roots have something to grab a hold of. So once you have that base layer of soil in your bushel basket, you, here's the root end. You're going to plant them directly in like this. And there's no rhyme or reason. You can mix red you know, whites, whatever you want in your container. Now you're going to continue to plant your green onion sets um, as many as you want in your container. Once you've done that, go ahead and cover the sets with soil. Cover them so that you can't see any of the tops sticking through and then add a little bit more soil on top of that. Once you see some green shoots starting to appear, add more soil on top of that and eventually the soil is going to reach the top of this bushel basket. And that is the length of the white that you are going to be able to